Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Joy of Eid. We are wishing you all a happy Eid Mubarak. Today I am joined by four lovely guests um, and they are all going to display their fantastic talents. I am joined by Faiza, Anisha, Inaya and Riyadh and we are all going to discuss what they did today. Um, how was your Eid? Good. Good. Did you guys get up to anything fun? Uh, do you want to start, Riyadh? Mm, yeah. What did you do today? Uh, I just got some clothes and stuff like that. Oh, very nice. What did you do today? I went to my nan nano's house. Uh, were you all your cousins there? Yeah. What did you guys do together? Um, we were They were cooking and then we... Um, we're playing a few games and stuff, like um, Ramadan games. That sounds fun. What are your favourite foods for Eid? Biryani. Solid choice. How about you? Today I went to my cousin sister's house and then they um, came over to our house for a sleepover. And then the next day we went to Asda to buy some clothes and toys. That sounds great. What did you do today? Today I went to my aunt's house and we ate thoroughly and we went shopping. Ah. What's your favourite part about Eid? When I went to my aunt's house. What's yours? Um, when I had the biryani. Biryani. What was your favourite part about Eid? The spice. The spice. <laughs> what was your favourite part? Celebrating with family. Oh, okay. How many siblings do you have? Six. Six. Are you the oldest, youngest? Oldest. Oldest. Wow. Do you guys have any siblings? I'm the only child. Only child. Yeah. I have two brothers and me. Oh. Are you the oldest or youngest? Youngest. Oh, me too. What about you? I have one sister and one brother. What did you do with your siblings during Eid? Did you just play games, watch um, things? We go, so um, we go to our nano's house and then we go outside. We'll play um, games outside. Okay, what sort of games? Like tag. Tag. And like hide and seek. Okay, that sounds so fun. You yeah. um, I go to the park called Victoria Park. We play hide and seek, and we bring this game called Monopoly and play there. Okay, great. What about you? We went to Archibald Park and we went on the swings and slides. That sounds so fun. Do you tend to play with your cousins? Yes, yeah, cousins. No. Sometimes my little cousins are a bit cranky at times, but I feel them just don't. Oh, I do that with my nieces and nephews. They're all little. They like to run around and knock things over. It's great. <laughs> um, I believe we had that you're going to start with a kira. <laughs> Yaquluna a inna la mautuluna 
Hafil Hafilah. Well done. You give them a round of applause. Uh, we like to go on to you. Uh, what are you planning to perform today? Nasheed. Would you like to start? Maulaya salli wa sallim daiman abadan ala habib bika khayl al khalki kullihimi. Maulaya salli wa sallim daiman abadan ala habib bika khayl al khalki kullihimi. Muhammadun Sayyid al Kaunaini wa Sakalin Muhammad al Sayyid al Kaunaini wa Sakalini wal Fari Khaini min Nubin wa min Ajam Mawliya salli wa sallim daiman Abadan ala Habib Bika khayl al Khalki kulhimi well done. Can we give her another round of applause? How long did it take you to learn that? Just a few days. Wow, and you did so well. Well done. Um, I believe we're going to Faiza now. Would you like to tell us all? The story of the crying camel. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful, lovely city called Medina. The people of the city were trying to find out ways to keep themselves cool. The city had many beautiful gardens with tall trees and shady spots. The people sat under trees, drank cool drinks and chatted. The Prophet Muhammad loved the city gardens. The flowers reminded him of Allah's creation. He walked through the gardens on this hot day, greeting people as he passed them. As Prophet Muhammad walked, he heard a noise that stops him in his tracks. It sounded like a cry. It sounded like somebody was in distress. He followed the noise of the cry. As he got closer, he realized that the cry wasn't coming from a person. It was coming from a camel. The camel was tied to a post and was standing in the town square. The sun was beating down on him and he was very, very uncomfortable. He was desperately thirsty and in need of food and shade because the camel was in the middle of the sun. Prophet Muhammad was sad to see the camel in his day and sight. He stroked the camel's fur and spoke softly to him. After a while, the camel stopped crying. He knew that Prophet Muhammad was a kind man. Once the camel had calmed down, Prophet Muhammad went back to the park. He walked around asking people, to warm the camel belong. After a while, a man stepped out from under a shady tree. The camel belongs to me, he said. Prophet Muhammad spoke gently and reminded the owner that the camel was one of Allah's creatures. Allah says that the camel was hot and in need of water and shade. So Prophet Muhammad helped the camel by giving him some water and shade. The camel and Prophet Muhammad lived happily ever after the end. MashaAllah. Wow, where did you get the idea for this story from? From YouTube. YouTube. Okay, how long did it take for you to write it? Mm, 10 minutes. Wow. That's quick. That's very quick. And your handwriting is so lovely. Wow. So proud of you. Mashallah. Would you like to go? Um, I would sing a nasheed. Okay, would you like to start? طلاء البدر علينا من سنيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله دا the white moon was over us from the valley of وداع and we all ate in show gratefulness whether call it to Allah. Ayyuhal ma buhuthu feena jitta bil amr al muta jitta sharaf tal madina marharban ya khayrada thala al badru alayna min thaniyat al wada Wajabah 
syukuru alaina madalillahida. Well done, mashallah. Um, when did you learn this poem? Um, the Uzuhu was there. He taught me so many times. He told me to say so. Yesterday, I've been practicing it all night. Oh my gosh! And you did such a good job. Uh, and when we came in, I went on my mom's phone and um, saw her again, and then. Wow, such a great job. Do you um, spend a lot of time studying? What are your favorite things to study about uh, Islam? That it's just my religion. I like it. Mm-hmm. What about you guys? What do you like to study? Um, like religion. practice my religion and um, never to change it. Good job. I'm never going to change it. You're never going to change it, as you shouldn't. I'm never going to change it too. <laughs> um, what other sort of traditions do you guys participate in? Just Islam. Just Islam? No, not tra- um, uh, not religions. Uh, like Eid traditions like that Ramadan. you think are important. Ramadan. Uh, yeah, Ramadan. Do you guys fast? Yeah. 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 Only on yeah. Saturday, Sunday, because this only in year six they let them fast, not in year one, year two. Five and six. But in, our, but in our school, right, they, they made a letter and then they made a letter to like make a form so that if we can fast like, every so it's day. it's only for year five and six. Uh-huh. So. When I was younger, they let year fours, five and six do it, but you couldn't do PE, I think. Yeah. Do you guys have to but miss we PE? have to do PE, include PE, so Mondays and Fridays we always do PE, so we're not going to, um, I'm not going to fast on those days. Oh, okay. What about you? Only on Saturdays and Sundays I'm going to fast. Do you do the same? Do you enjoy fasting? Yeah. What's your favourite food to break, um, iftar, with, break um, your fast with that iftar? Dates. Watermelon. Water- I like watermelon. Samosas. Samosas. Yeah, and Dalibora. Dalibora. What's your favourite type of samosa? Meat, vegetable, chicken? Meat. Meat. Meat? Do you guys like samosas? Yeah. Yeah. Prefer spring rolls. I always get them now. Um, and those things called zai. Like, what is that? It's like something mashed. Like, it's so good. Oh, sounds so nice. I've like, got to say it in English. I don't know how to say it in English. That's fine. Um, I believe you also have a story you'd like to tell us? Uh, yeah. Okay, would you so, like to go ahead? So like, this story is about like Jibril teaches us religion. So so Umar Radallahu and who uh, was with the companion of the Prophet were with him and then they were, as they were walking, a man came to them, he had like a bright white, <coughs> bright white, clo- bright white <coughs> clothes and uh, dark black hair. And and then he kneeled down on his knees and then put his and uh, placed his hands on Muhammad and he said that Oh Muhammad, please teach me really, please teach me Islam. And then Muhammad Sallallahu said that Islam means to believe in um, no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. And then the the person said you have spoken the truth. And then Umar said that we were surprised by like how like. Why was he asking like these questions? And then after that, uh, the man asked like, "What is it? teach me about iman?" And iman means to believe in like uh, be- believe in Allah, His angels, His books, His messengers, and the last day, and believe in His faith, good and bad. And then he and then the man after said that he tell me about his son. If you can if you can see Allah, then you should worship. But if you can't see Him, then He sees you. And then he. And then the master tell me about the hour, day of judgment. Basically, the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that uh, I don't. No one is asking who who is asking. But technically, he doesn't know like when is it going to happen. And after uh, the man, the man said, "Teach me about the science." And then he t- and then Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the, there will be shepherds that will have no shoes, no clothes and will compete to build the highest buildings. That's all I'm, that's the whole story. That was a great story, mashallah. Well, uh, thank you all for coming here today. We are going to take a short break and we'll have four more lovely guests come on. Thank you.